All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, JD. I hope you've all had a great day. I hope you're all having a great week so far. Before we carry on with this episode, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel recently. As you guys know, it absolutely means the world to me. We're on the road to 60K and we're slowly but surely getting there. So for this one, if you could make sure to leave a like rating as it really, really helps out the video, helps it get pushed out in the algorithm. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video of us discussing today's madness like with this one and where to start with it because it seems like we talk about this issue quite a lot but it just shows everybody how big of an issue it really is this time we're reporting on a story coming from Maine where a trans sophomore high school runner a boy identifying as a girl finished fifth in a race and now has risen fourth in the rankings after finishing 172nd last year when he competed in the right category Fury as Maine high school sophomore transgender runner 16 dominates girls races and rises to fourth in rankings after coming 172nd while racing as a boy. A trans high school sophomore in Maine has faced criticism for competing in the girls 5k cross country competition despite running last year as a boy. Soren Stark Chesser, a pupil at the private Maine Coast Waldorf School in Freeport was ranked 172nd in the district as a freshman in the boys competition. Over the course of the last year Stark Chesser transitioned and now as a sophomore races in the girls competition where he is ranked fourth. On Saturday, Stark Chesser competed in the main XC Festival of Champions in Belfast and finished fifth. As Stark Chesser sprinted to the finish in a time of 5 minutes 51 and 3 seconds, one person can be heard yelling, way to cheat bro. <laughs> and here is a clip of them crossing the finish line. I'll play it a couple of times because it's only 15 seconds. Take a watch. Way to cheat bro! Way to cheat bro! Nice job bro! So before we carry on with this video, before we carry on with the rest of the article, this just proves that everybody, if we needed any more proof, I don't think we need sports to tell us this, but it just shows you a huge physical advantage a man possesses over a woman. They compete in the boys competition last year, finished 172nd crossover and they finish fifth that tells you all you need to know but apparently we actually have people on social media telling people that the science now tells people that trans women men identifying as women don't have a physical advantage over women uh, right then anyway this is just simply cheating man like let's just call it for what it is to finish 172nd to then compete in the girls category the next year and finish fifth and now you're placed fourth in the rankings, that shouldn't be allowed whatsoever. That is common sense, but it seems like as we go further into the future, sometimes we like to go in the opposite direction of common sense. It completely undermines the reality we're living in. And when we see situations like this, unless it gets rectified in some way, shape or form, when we see situations like this, that competition, unfortunately, can no longer be taken seriously, can it? Because somebody is competing who shouldn't be there in the very first place. It completely devalues the whole thing. And that is a massive disrespect in itself to all the girls who have trained very hard, no matter what competition it is, whoever is in this competition and they've trained exceptionally hard just to have it all thrown out of the window because somebody's feelings must be reaffirmed ahead of the actual truth. As we know, the individual truth apparently now is placed on a higher pedestal than the actual truth. One young female runner told journalist Sean McBrietti, I hope I got that name right, I do apologize. It is not fair to a female who has trained hard. Males are biologically faster than females with testosterone. They need to run under their biological gender. A mother, Catherine Collins from Winterport, Maine, whose children compete in track events, told McBrietti with your news that she felt it was unfair. Men are simply larger, faster, and stronger than their female counterparts, she said. To compare, the top ranked female high school runner in all of New England would only be ranked 47th among high school boys in Maine. One father, a physician whose two children compete in Maine high school cross-country competitions, said it was profoundly unfair. If a boy competing in a sporting event were found to be using performance-enhancing drugs, he would be disqualified due to the presumption of unfair competitive advantage, the father said. If that same boy chose to compete as a girl, he would not only be disqualified due to his enormous presumptive competitive advantage, he would be lauded, fated, and applauded. For the boys, it would be tragic, for it teaches them things that simply do not apply 
apply outside of the very narrow time and place in which we currently reside. For the girls, it is the grossest of injustices in every conceivable way because it forces them to participate in and to some extent accept something which is manifestly false. They must, like it or not, participate in the lie. Then we have Riley Gaines on X, who also responds to this situation. She goes on to say, it's always the same story. Anyone who thinks trans identifying males competing in a women's sport is fair, please show me one example of a female ranking higher against the men at a competitive level than she did in the women's category. I mean, need I say any more about this issue, right? I don't think I can top those observations there. Those people have also been through certain situations as we've seen with Riley Gaines. And she says it how it is. And we can always sit here and talk about how unfair it is. We can sit here in multiple videos. People can talk about it on social media, but it does just need to change. It needs to stop happening. I know we're seeing more bills being signed in different states, but clearly it needs to be implemented in many other places and very quickly because this is so unfair to everybody competing and the sport itself. The people that allow this to happen as well should be ashamed. I just don't understand how people have the thought process of sitting there and thinking, yeah, this is completely fine. This is fair. This is great, guys. Maybe it's just a huge virtue signal. Who knows? But to sit there and think these girls are in a fair competition once you allow a male to compete, it's beyond me. Maybe, I don't know, the wins from Ottawa, Canada have over time passed over into Maine and now they're catching the woke mindset. Who knows? Because the school athletics director has actually hit back. So it's not just a virtue signal and said they were proud of all their students. We support all our students at Maine Coast Waldorf School and are proud that our students are given the opportunity to participate in all of our school programs, said Susan Sontag. Sontag said that the school adheres to the Maine law prohibiting unlawful educational discrimination. It's unlawful educational discrimination to not have boys competing against girls. Yeah, you know what? Get me off this planet. There is no nobility in this. It doesn't make any sense. As I said earlier, right? And as those people highlighted, it just completely undermines the world we're living in. And I think sometimes these girls, if there are enough of them, of course, need to band together and they need to say enough is enough so the competition can't go ahead. We know some people may face consequences for doing so, but sometimes I do think people have to put the consequences you know, at the back of their mind. I know you can get disqualified and cancelled, et cetera, et cetera. But sometimes the sacrifice you make is worth more than those things because when you stand for the truth, you're also showing the rest of the world and other people, they can also stand for the truth. And I do think there is a bridge now to cross to say enough is enough. We don't want to compete if there's going to be a male competing and women like Riley Gaines have shown that. One of the biggest things for me with this issue, and I say this quite a lot now, is just... It's crazy to me that the debate has reached this level of insanity. It should be at that level in the first place, right? It shouldn't even be a debate. We should not be sat here discussing it. I shouldn't be sat here talking to you guys about these issues. It shouldn't be an issue because simply it shouldn't be happening. You know, We've gone so far away from common sense that we're living in the land I don't know, delusion. But leave your thoughts down below on this story, ladies and gentlemen. I want to hear how you guys feel about it. If you could, once again, make sure to leave a like rating as it really, really helps out the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Share this video. But until next time, and once again, thank you all for the support on the channel, on the videos. Completely means the world to me. But until next time, it has been your boy, JD. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace.